Hello everyone, my name is Jack and I'm a current third year student at Macquarie doing the Doctor of Physiotherapy. And my name's Kate, I'm a recent graduate from the Doctor of Physiotherapy at Macquarie, just finished in June of this year. Uh, before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of Country Australia and their continuing connection to land, waters and community. We pay our respects um, to them and their culture and elders past, present and future. Jack. Would you like to give just a brief overview of the Doctor of Physiotherapy or DPT as we call it, the course? Yeah, so the DPT is a three year postgraduate physiotherapy program. So it's what we classify as a Doctor of Physiotherapy and it's one of the only Doctor of Physiotherapy courses running in New South Wales, which is a great opportunity for us as well there. Now, Kate, why did you choose to study at Macquarie University and do the Doctor of Physiotherapy here? So one of my favourite things about Macquarie University is that they seek out our placements for us. So throughout the course, you'll complete five five-week blocks of placement. There aren't rural placements unless you can seek out those opportunities, but it's all within the area. And that's one of the biggest things for me. And that we're exposed to so many different types of physiotherapy in our course. We're also very lucky we get to complete a sports placement as well. And then we also are exposed and have... Um, an elective placement. So uh, my area of interest is PEDS. So I was very fortunate to be able to choose that in our elective placement. Why did you choose Macquarie? For me, it was a little bit of a slog. I was having a look at everyone and I really saw that no one said a bad word about Macquarie. I heard about having the smaller cohort sizes and the great professional staff, meeting them for the first time. It was beyond belief what I saw with them, being able to teach us every little bit and as Kate was saying, as you were saying, you get access to all these great placements and opportunities and experiences out there. And I think for you, Kate, what's the best experience you've had so far? Um, one of the best experiences would probably be my um, elective placement. So I got to work in the Peds Hospital, the Children's Hospital. So that was really an area um, of interest. But interestingly, I didn't really have that area of interest before I came into Macquarie. So you get exposure to all these different types of physiotherapy. Before I began at Macquarie, I'm not sure about you, I only thought there was one type of physio working in a private practice. Um, but since completing the course, there's so many different types of physios that you can be. You can be cardiorespiratory, um, neuro dealing with sort of stroke patients, um, brain injuries. And then there's the whole other side. You can work with peds or geriatrics, even burns, amputees. There's so many different things. Um, and so that was one of my favorite things, getting to experience peds, um, so pediatrics with children. Um, another highlight for me would also be the social side that comes with studying physiotherapy at Macquarie University. So um, you're quite involved in our physiotherapy society, MICFIS. Um, very, very social. We have a lot of um, events that are outside. So our ball is one of our biggest events. Um, some other things that are really um, helpful as well. We have run some what's like seminars where people, past students have come in and spoken to us about their experiences. And then also looking at um, professionals coming in and talking to us about the different types of physio. Enough about me. What are some of your highlights? Well, that's a hard one. I think for me, it has to be very similar to you. The clinical experience we get has been amazing. I've done a placement in a private practice who's actually a physio for an elite netball team. So I got to go into the clinic and work with the athletes, which for me coming from a sports science background is very interesting and really get to develop those skills from there. But having exposure to the other areas, I did a acute neurological placement. So working with acute stroke unit patients and traumatic brain injuries and recently just finished a five week ICU block, which was amazing. Getting to see all these other conditions, which prior to coming to physio, like you said, had no idea about these. Um, it was a great way to sort of open my breadth of knowledge into what I'm interested in, but to also try and narrow down what path I want to take afterwards and what career aspirations I have from there. Yeah, I think you've highlighted a great point that um, there's a lot of different sort of areas of physiotherapy that there are in the private and public sector. And at Macquarie, you will get exposure to all of those, which is really beneficial. So we mentioned some of our placements. I was very similar. I even completed a placement at Macquarie's own uh, uh, 
Macquarie's own private hospital on campus, which was wonderful. And then also in private practices. So getting to experience that musculoskeletal side and sports side as well. But then the whole other end of the spectrum, going into public hospitals um, and providing care in that area. So I think we're very fortunate that we get to see both sides and really choose what area we're most interested in. I oh, know without a doubt, I think it's the best part that we get, that you can get exposure to both sides and weigh up your options afterwards. The whole point of going to uni is to get a job, right? Yep. So that's the goal. So if we're going to find a job, we want to see what's going to be the benefit for us, whether we want to go on a public hospital or we want to go down the private hospital pr pathway or even to a private practice for muscular skeletal. So I think having those experiences has been amazing. Um, and I can't say enough for our clinical education team and trying to get us these placements and supporting us throughout the journey. It's obviously, I'm sure you've had some difficult experiences on placement at times, you know, trying to get over that hurdle, but the team's always there to support us. I've had a few moments where they've just picked me up and gone, you'll be fine. Yeah. Why? I think that's a great point. The support that you get studying the DPT at Macquarie is unbelievable. We're very fortunate that it is a small cohort. So not only do we all know our peers on a first name basis, but you know all your lecturers and all your tutors on a first name basis as well. They all have an open door policy. So you can maybe not as much with COVID, it might more be an email sometimes, um, but you can always contact them with any questions. Um, and really um, happy to say that since graduating, it's been much the same when I've had questions about jobs or anything like that, they've been just as reachable and supportive. So I'm very fortunate um, in that way. You spoke a little bit about the different areas that you're exposed to moving forward in your career, Jack. What sort of aspirations do you have? I think for me personally, currently, I'd be looking down the classic private practice musculoskeletal route. But my mind is still open to what other opportunities are out there. I still have another elective placement to go down. Um, but being in those hospitals, you get to see that exposure. So I did for a while look at going into emergency department physiotherapy, which is again, another niche that not a lot of people would have heard of. Um, and also some places in hospitals like neurological has been quite interesting as well. But I think overall at the moment, private practice is probably where my mind is set. What about you, Kate? I know you've just graduated. How I have, about you? I'm very fortunate to currently be in a rehab role, which is something I'm very interested in, seeing um, people changes since they've had surgeries or since they've had illnesses and injuries, which I'm really enjoying. I also really have a passion for paediatrics, as mentioned, so working with children. So in the future, I hope to combine that um, with my current career. Yeah, no, definitely. Now, based on how we work here at D the DPT, course i know personally how it is but how could you explain to the audience what way they prepare you for the future in your career uh, i think just within all of the classes they make it like a real real world setting sort of as you can see a little bit our setup here it's set up like a clinic you get that practice within class and then with all the hours that you get to experience on placement so in the dpt program you have over a thousand hours out um, working so I think that's a great opportunity that they really prepare us for. What about your experiences? No, I think that's without a doubt. I know personally within our final semesters, we actually do a mock interview process as well and do resume writing and work on that. And it's accessible content, but it's them helping us prepare ourselves for future proofing our careers and also getting those personal skills and interpersonal skills as well, which is a massive thing for us as well there to be able to develop and move along the path of our career. On that note, what are some skills you think are valuable for physiotherapists? Um, I think you mentioned the social skills are huge. You're always talking to patients. Um, some you might not get along with as well as others, but it's really important to be adaptable and flexible and be understanding that everyone's situation is different. And so I think with how sort of social this course is and how approachable everyone is, you really get that social side. And I think probably COVID as well has prepared everyone to be a bit more adaptable and that's something that can really help um, in the physiotherapy career. Do you have, what about you? I think I agree full, fully there. I think on top of being able to communicate with patients, I think a great one is being able to communicate with other staff. Yeah. You know, your whole job, especially if you're in a, a hospital system, you'll have to be communicating with doctors, with speech pathologists, dietitians, you name it, you're working alongside them. So you want to be able to have those skills to relate. I think as well on top of that, as you said, experience, adaptability, are massive things that you cannot understate. Being able to work with, roll with the punches, go, with, go on the fly, be able to actually 
adapt what you're doing. You know, maybe it is like COVID moving to telehealth or having to move to new safety procedures, or it's your pa first three patients aren't ready for you on the yeah. first day when you <laughs> turn up in the morning. So you've got to go roll on to your next one. So being able to be flexible, adaptable, and know where to seek help. I think it's another thing, knowing when you need help and knowing how to seek that help. No one's ever going to say you're wrong in asking for help. So getting help's always great. And I think that kind of leads into this. Have you had any challenges coming through DPT program, whether it's through clinical experience or trying to get through the program itself? I think probably just that transition initially into your first placement um, is quite a bit of a shock to the system. You're on placement for full-time hours. You're seeing patients with conditions that although you've learned about them, you has, haven't physically seen it. So I think probably that in itself is a challenge, but I think we overcome that by one, your units are, um, you have an online unit as well while you're completing your placements. And so that's all about reflective practice. We even have our um, clinical educators from university, they come out onto your placements and they will talk to you about how you're finding things and give you sort of tools to overcome challenges. Um, so for me, that was um, it's probably the biggest shock to the system going on placement, but I felt so supported by the staff and all the way throughout the um, course as well, not only that first one. What about you? No, I agree wholeheartedly. And to touch on that point about the clinical team coming out and helping, it also helps that these are people who are still working in the field as well. So they have that clinical experience to be able to add those pearls of wisdom to, yeah. which makes life so much easier, as you know. I think the biggest challenge for me is, yeah, working in the, in the placements in those first times and dealing with adverse outcomes. Not everything goes the way you want it to go. So knowing how to deal with maybe problematic patients or being able to deal with things that just don't go your way. Um, and yeah, seeking that help. So being able to have that support network around you in your career afterwards or even within the department itself at the moment. Yeah, I think that's a great way to look at it, Jack. Yeah. Looking back, um, what would you give prospective students if you had to give them a bit, advice, bit of advice before entering the course or even throughout the course? What would you say to them? Oh, that's a good one. I think my best bit of advice that I've given to anyone I've spoken to coming through, being quite close with other years, I think for me, it's actually get out there and take every opportunity that comes your way, whether it's a volunteering opportunity to work at the city to surf or it's, you know, an opportunity to try something new, do it at a place in an area you don't know, you know, working with people that you don't really talk to in your classes. I think getting exposure to every experience not only broadens your scope and your ability to be a great physio, but I think it also just develops your skill set and narrows down your, your area for your career prospects as well, what you want to go into. Yeah, what about yourself? I think that's a, that's a great point. Um, very similar, just trying to take any opportunities that you have, and you will have so many opportunities at university, some that might pop out up outside when they might hear that you're studying at Macquarie, or even within the course, there's lots of observation hours as well, and you never know what saying yes to something from that can lead to. With that said, also trying to keep an open mind. I think I came in thinking I'd be a private practice physio. But since I've been exposed to so many different types of physiotherapy, I have found another passion. Not, there's nothing wrong with um, private practice. I think just I've found something that really sparked my interest. And with that said though, I found that my private practice placement has been so beneficial looking at musculoskeletal patients. Although I might not be heading down that path, my patients now who I'm working with in rehab have musculoskeletal conditions. They might have um, had a previous knee or shoulder injury. So taking on those skills that at the time you might not think you'll use them because that's the area um, you're going into a different area. But honestly, all the skills you use are so important um, and really beneficial throughout the course. Yeah, I think that's a massive point. Like all these skills you do learn, every patient's going to have a combination of factors. So it's a great thing to be able to pull upon your musculoskeletal skills, maybe your cardiorespiratory skills. They could be suffering from a respiratory condition when you're seeing them in a private practice. So you still will need to work with that. And I think that's a great point that we need to take everything you can get and, and use those learning experiences. Perfect. 
I think um, just giving some tips, having graduated and recently entered the workforce, I think some of the things about Macquarie that have been super helpful, you touched on it briefly before, in your final semester, you are really prepared for, you do have some mock interviews and you prepare your resume um, and it is an assessment as well. Um, but you also complete one, a portfolio throughout your entire degree. And that kind of shows how you've completed all the physiotherapy competencies that need to be met. And I can 100% say I have used my assessments from uni in that last semester multiple times um, when applying for jobs. And I think as well, keep an open mind if when you go on a placement, you never know if that could turn into a job. So or the, I'm very lucky to currently have acquired a job, although it's a place that Macquarie is a partner with a placement. I did not complete a placement there, but a peer of mine had, and they kind of got in contact with each other. And we're very fortunate that we reach out to each other and tell each other about different op job opportunities that are out there. So that's one of the reasons that I'm in the current position that I am, and I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, that's a great thing we have here as well. Perfect. So moving forward, if you guys have any questions, um, just reminding you that we have our one on one consultations coming up. So there's just a link on the screen that you guys can click, click on that link and make sure you book an appointment for the one on one consultation if you've got any further questions. Otherwise, um, hopefully we might see you around um, working as a physio in the future. Perfect.